The San Antonio incident there, just one of a string of violence against law enforcement officers. Three other officers have been injured in four states since yesterday. Closer to home, this is video taken after a possible drive by shooting at Harris County Precinct 6 Constable's Office. Channel 2's Andy Sroda is live tonight with what's being done to keep our officers here in Houston safe. Andy. Lauren, every time something horrific like this happens, it is a wake up call for police officers. Our men and women in uniform who were out there protecting and serving, they will be the first to tell you you can never stress enough the importance of officer safety. Tonight, that message carries with it a deeper meaning, a greater sense of urgency at roll calls at police departments all across the Houston area. After the violence targeting law enforcement in San Antonio, Missouri, and Sanibel, Florida, Police here at home are on high alert. Some agencies, like the Harris County Sheriff's Office, are reminding deputies on patrol to wear their protective vests, to work in teams, and use appropriate backup measures. The Houston Police Department is also allowing patrol officers to partner up. We always believe that two officers are safer than one, especially on traffic stops where one has to have the focus on the, the violator while the other person can focus on the surroundings. Many are pairing up, especially those working the evening and night shifts. Harris County Precinct 6 deputy constables are also working in pairs while patrolling certain neighborhoods. Tonight, they appear to be the target of what looks like a drive-by shooting. Well, Andy, you know it's alarming, and, and you know to, to know that uh, people are firing, firing upon the people that are out here keeping you safe, uh, police officers. Precinct 6 is in the process of moving its offices. Last night, a deputy working security at the precinct's new headquarters discovered at least three bullet holes while patrolling the property. We're trying to find out, you know, where some other uh, uh, bullets may have hit and some fragments inside the building. And you were looking at one of at least three bullet holes. Precinct 6 tonight looking for any witnesses who may have heard the gunshots. They believe this happened sometime between Thursday and Sunday. This building does have surveillance cameras, but it is still under construction. They don't believe those cameras captured anything. Reporting live tonight from the East End, Andy Sirota, KPRC, Channel 2 News.